Heart IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Delighted finally to be joined by former GP, GB star Thomas Hodgson. Thomas, uh, listen, your pro debut is around the corner, man. How are you feeling? Yeah, oh, I'm feeling class, Andy. Can't wait. It's been a long time coming. Uh, looking forward to it. Been, I've been ready for a good while now, but obviously the COVID's held a lot of people back, hasn't it? So I've been yeah. a bit stuck, but I've been ready for ages. I'm firing from all since the cylinders now. I'm ready to fight. Have you got those itchy knuckles? Because it's probably been a while since your last fight. So how itchy are you to finally get in there, lace up them gloves, be under the lights, step through them ropes, man? How anxious are you to get that? Uh, Everyone I've talked to, like Joe, I've talked to Joe, me, obviously my coaches, boxers, the pro and that, and they've all said like, mate, it's totally different, the feeling, the buzz and that. Like, And I can imagine it being class. Like, I've got like, a good follow them coming down to watch us. So it'll be, I think it'll be a kind of good buzz down there in St. Chris time. Yeah, definitely. I want to talk about. I mentioned. Joe, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you're mentioning. You're talking about Joe Laws. I do want to talk about. Joe. Aye, aye. Yeah. I'm not really good friends with Joe, and I will get talk about Joe just now. But you've you've signed uh, with Empire Management, and a good friend of mine, Jamie Shelby. Yeah. I know Jamie quite well, man. He's a sound guy, man. Top so guy. Best, he's a top top guy, man. So for you to turn pro and and sign with the uh, Empire Management and stuff like that, and Jamie Sheldon, how easy a decision was that for you? Pretty easy, like he he, he like. He just offered us everything that people couldn't and that. And then, like, at the time, I was a bit like, I was a bit rushed about. I didn't know what way I was going, what was happening. And then Jamie just basically went, look, I can do this for you. I can do that for you. You can just fully focus on training and getting sorted while you're fighting. And I was like, that's exactly what I need. And he's helped us on all the social medias and I helped us get, getting all these interviews and stuff like that. And because I'm not really that busy on social medias, but like, I've started to pull my finger out a bit now. Like, and I'm, I feel like I am getting a bit a bit more noticed than that's got to see. Yeah, Thomas, social media is how fights get made sometimes. It you is, I it back is. and forth on Twitter, man, might get a fight made. So it is. I you know, don't, I know. Yeah, and like I said, with Jamie as well, you've already got that in-house cuts, man. You've got that in-house guy that's gonna wrap exactly, you up. Exactly, exactly. He's done it all, I mean. He's done it all, man. And, and, and to top all, like you mentioned there, he's a he's a sound guy, he's a top, top guy. I've got a lot of time. Top guy, we'll click straight away, Andy. Andrew would click straight away as soon as soon as soon as I saw the speaker, I was like, "You're a genuine, you're a genuine bloke." You yeah. just clicks his class. Brings us every day. We're on the phone every day. Each of us have a crack around. It says, "It's how it should be, shouldn't it?" Yeah, definitely. He's got a funny accent. That's all I've got to say about him. That's Aye, hundred percent. A funny accent. Well, nice <laughs> guy. Um, the whole stuff <laughs> down there on Empire it seems like they're, they're they're looking to make big moves, man. They've, massive. They've massive got right. as well to do that camera work and that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ruby is great at her job as well. Do you know other folk there that's doing bits and pieces. So, so it sounds like they're building, they're, they're building a good team and they're they're ready to sort of like get their foot in the door in this boxing game. Which, which 100%. Is- I, there's loads of them that have got all different roles and all different parts, but they all click and get on and it's, it's good. Like It's good to see. And that's what makes it a good working team, I think. Like Yeah, that's, I, I, I agree. I think everyone's got their role and everyone's doing it uh, to a 100% and everyone's positive and it seems like it's a positive team down in a positive vibe. Which oh, I bounce them. But you, you're fighting on uh, the fight zone. I, I'm, I'm enjoying these fight zone setups and yeah, yeah. Fitness they're, good, aren't they? they're good little shows. So, I mean, that's not a bad, not a bad event to make your pro debut, is it? Nah, I, was, I went to go, I was following that Myra Mills and I, I went to go and watch him defend his English title and when I was there, I was like, Wow, this is classic. And I was saying, Jimmy, Jimmy, this is a min show. This, like you've seen, I'll come and get you on these straight away. Then the next thing you know, I'm boxing on one. So I'm go. pretty made up. Like, nah, I am buzzing. Jimmy working as magically as always. Nah, I did. I. But for you, though, is it, like uh, you are a GB standout. You've been in the GB squad. And I can remember Joe Laws actually telling me one time, I think he was, I was doing an interview with him or I had my camera. I can't quite remember. And he was saying, You're the next best thing coming out of the Northeast or something along them lines. I can't quite remember. It was a, a little while ago. Do, do, do you, when you look at Northeast boxing and you hear somebody like Joe Laws and other people, I mean, Jamie's obviously took the punt on you. He obviously has belief in you and stuff like that. Do you feel yeah. any pressure to fill that, to, to be the next guy coming out of Newcastle in the Northeast? No, mm. no, nah, nah, not at all. I'm just, yeah, enjoy it, man. Obviously, I believe myself. I wouldn't be, yeah, I wouldn't be boxing if I didn't. I want I would nothing less just go at the top and that's it. It's simple as that. But I believe Northeast boxing, I've said a lot, it's kind of boom, you know, it's kind of, everyone knows it's going to boom shortly when the twins and that mm-hmm. turn over and that well, early gym where I boxed previously, like the gym's amazing and the amount of fighters that come out of the Northeast are, are going to come through anyways, it's going to be extraordinary, like. Definitely, you mentioned the twins there, the McCormacks, and there, that's going to be an absolute... All them French, she's Cyrus, Cyrus yeah. is already pro, there's loads of them, mate, there's, and there's like young ones that are coming through, or just like, oh, amazing, really, like, never seen a gym like it. Why did you turn pro? What made 
when, when are staying there and just seeing the DB squad and get that Olympic I, uh, Commonwealth game? I, I, I was a bit like, I was, I'm 25 now and I was I was completing 60 kilo and the 60 division got like removed for 60, for two female weights to come in. So I had to go to 63 and there was, was a busy weight and then it was pretty much already picked to be honest. Right. But I enjoyed it and stuff. I know I feel like everything happens for a reason, Andy. And like everything, even though the COVID situation, that it's just all been a blessing for me because it gives us the time to just learn and just turn over at the pros and stuff. Because like, it's a different sport and like, mm. it's different altogether. I think that much as you're not chasing anything, you've got loads of time and that. So I've been learning things and yeah, you've got that. You've got that time to build, and that's not a mad rush. You're not always in competition. Yeah. You're not always fighting the best guy from there. You're gonna like you say that you're gonna build yourself up. Fight maybe a couple of journeymen. Have a feel out what the four rounds feel like. Obviously, you're fighting the next round. Small yeah. clubs, do you know what I mean? Uh, the crowd, the lights, it's all different and stuff like that. So you get that that feel for it. But for you, I, I, I think I, somebody said to me that you, you're going to be camping at, at lightweight, but obviously your debut might be a little bit heavier than, than the lightweight division. 140. I'm going to come in about 140. Because I think maybe on the same day, the weight, and I'm not pretty sure yet, but 140 ish. I am pretty comfortable with the weight now, to be honest. Like I say, I'm pretty comfy in like all departments, so I'm ready to fight now, to be honest. I've been ready for a good while, but it's just about <clears throat> keeping it easy and not doing too much or too less. But the one, one, I think 140 now, because it's your pro debut, you don't want to try and make championship weight, but going looking at the future, will you will you be at the, the 135 pound division or will you stay at 140? Yeah, 135. 135. Yeah. <coughs> oh, it's busy, I but I believe myself, so. Believe in it, well, that that's quite right. You should, everyone, every young fighter should believe in themselves, and I've got no doubt that you do. But like I say, if you do that that one thirty, that one thirty five, one forty pound division, no matter where you go, I say this to a lot I know. of this division, it's not going to be easy, but it's going to be fun because there's so many talented fighters in these divisions. I mean, Josh Definitely. Taylor, Regis Progre up at one forty. Do you know what I mean? Go down to Giovanni Davis, who's hovering about there. Lomachenko, Teofimo yeah. Lopez, yeah. Haney, Luke Campbell. Yeah. I mean, these the, the, what are, that, some names there, yeah. I've not even mentioned domestic level with Lewis Ritson mm. and the Tyrone McKenna's, the Sam Maxwell's, the Key Menis Browns. I mean, even down, it's it's, it's it's mate, you must be excited to get to start. I'm buzzing, I'm buzzing. I, 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 I thought it's about the wasn't it? And it was like, I'm yeah, I like to test myself in the year. I'm spawning Max Hughes tonight. I'm gonna go and spawn him and see where I'm at and just. It's a total spawn, Josh Warren, not so long ago, so a flash. So, the old top kids, I want to see where I'm at. I want to, but there's no reason why and why, why I shouldn't. You know what I mean? Well, you're definitely getting some good spawning then. I mean, Josh Wongton, Maxi Hughes, who's he's coming on like he's got reserves. Class. Yeah, the like, last three wins have been phenomenal for Maxi Hughes. And oh, he's more what he deserves. I am. I'm, I mean, I'm going to spawn the bus, have a bit spawn from the night, so I'll be to see where I'm at and stuff like that. Because he's the top. I rate him so much. He's class. He's got a lot of his style's amazing to watch. I think like he doesn't give nothing away, does he? He's just watertight. Everything's not wasted. It's just place. It's nice. For people that haven't seen you fighting, for people that might be coming to this fight fight zone and they hear Thomas Hodgson coming at the ring and they might be wondering who is this guy? How would you describe your sort of your style and what can they expect from you um, in, in fight zone? Ex excited. It depends on fighting against Andy. I can do a bit of everything at the minute. That's what I mean. Like this lockdown, I've been covering everything, every part of me boxing. So depends on what we're against, but I can expect to see a good performance. Like on twenty uh, seventh August. You mentioned Sil Silver Flash, and you mentioned Josh Wongton. I mean, Josh Wongton, what a what a fighter he is, world champion. Awesome. Uh, it's awesome. What's it like sparring him? What advice has he gave you? Yeah. Using and all these guys. Uh, when I was born, Josh Warren, he was he was telling us about you've got time and all that stuff and uh, don't wait, waste nothing. But when I at the time when I was born, I was thinking, man, I haven't got a chance to do anything. Like yours, like he's got because he's like a ration. He's just on you, <laughs> close the just like you know what he's good at. He's got like gears and stuff like that. So one minute he's like not a lot, he's doing anything. Then the next thing he's like boom, he's on you. Like, like you kind of switch off. That's what's good. See, it's see, more it's more mentally draining than physically. I yeah, definitely. I, I if you switch that, off, you know about this. Yeah, I get that vibe. By, by by Josh, but uh, talking about people giving you advice, you, you are good friends with the madman himself, Joe Laws. Mad, uh, right. He's, a, he's an absolute absolute nut job, but he's he's a great kid, man. I've got a lot of time. I'll actually love him to bet. He's class. He's class, but, mate. What's he told you about this, the, the professional game and, and what to expect? Because he's been in it long enough now. He's, he, he just always says enjoy it, enjoy it. Like and he says, like it's a hard game. It is, it is, but. He, obviously Joe believes in us he always, he always says that you've got what it takes to be a world champion and that and like if you tick all the boxes and do all the right things you, you'll you fly sort of thing but Joe's he's, he's, every day we speak to him I mean Joe and he'll always keep us on the right track and stuff like that like 
I've said before, your, your company house loads times and stuff like that, and then drop like little bits of hummus off and meal preps and stuff like that. And you know, just even though I'm not in because he just sits me mom and that, he just sends a text in, drops some meals off for your bro, and uh, stay stay, uh, stay out there or something, you stay focused and that. And it's like, you don't get many pals that'll do that for you. Oh, definitely. I don't think I've got one pal like that, to be honest. But nah, I mean, he's genuine, like, he's a proper genuine kid. Like, you said that he keeps he mad. He's Sorry. mad as I don't get us wrong, he is mad as hard, oh. but he's he meet he's proper, proper, proper genuine. Definitely, I agree. But you said that it keeps you on the straight and narrow, but that you've got to have one mad story that you and Joe Laws have been up to. What what's oh, the man, one mad story? We've got loads of mad stories. Give me one mad <laughs> give me one mad story that you you one watched. mad story. I don't think I could say over here, to be honest. <laughs> 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 oh mate, I couldn't tell you all the stuff we've got up to. <laughs> Oh. But not his memories, memories for a lifetime, and it's funny. He's a for this way, he's a funny guy. He's a funny guy, like definitely. We, we we did touch on the sort of like the lightweight division and, and the super welterweight division and the way it, the way it's stacked and, and, and stuff like that. But when you look at that one three five pound division right now with the Haney's and the Lopez's and the Lomachenko's and stuff like that, and the Gio, the, the Davises there hovering there or there about Ryan Garcia as well. I forgot about him, Luke Campbell. What? Who's the number one guy in your eyes? Is it Teofimo Lopez after that Lomachenko win? To, to, I don't know. If, I, if, I still think of Lope, Lomachenko, man, you know, I don't know what I don't know. I don't, there's some mm. he's quality, isn't he? But I gotta say, I Teofimo Lopez is probably num- like probably number one at the minute. Isn't he? But you say that though, but I feel like sales can make fights thing, all they can all beat each other, sort of thing. I like what I love watching Tang. I don't think Tang's big enough one three five though, but Tang's he's spiteful, isn't he? Yeah. There's talk about him and Josh Taylor. I heard a little bit of rumblings, man. And I, uh, and I, uh, that's I don't think he's big enough for Josh Taylor. Nah, nah, no, 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 Josh Taylor's that's something else, isn't he? Yeah, he, he, well, I'm biased, obviously, but he is. Ah, uh, he, uh, he's quality. Definitely. He's quality. Well, we don't stand, just pretty piggybacking off that. And Josh had a, a, a great amateur career, and we've seen what he'd done. He he blew through the professional ranks to become undisputed in 18 fights. Like I'm not saying that that you can do the same. Maybe you could. You can probably do it faster. But with your amateur background and the way that you've You've, you're 25 years old, you've fought every single style, you've been to all these tournaments, ABA, your stuff like that. How fast do you believe you can go in this professional ranks? Do you think you've got time to basically fight 10 journeymen, get that 10 and 0, and then maybe... I've just come off the army two seconds. Right. I've just come off two seconds. Someone just sent us a message in and just popped off. There you go, I'm back. There you go. I, I, I believe I, 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 that... Can you be fast-tracked? I maybe I that I say I'm gonna let Jamie know I do all that and I'm just gonna I'm gonna enjoy the boxing just take stress off of all that doesn't it so I believe I can yeah I do but let's see how I get on and see I've got three fights running run before just before Christmas so I'll be going to the next year three and all and we'll see, get a, try and get in a few North East shows because at the minute it's a bit dead round yeah for boxing wise it's but a bit Thomas, of a struggle but but, but Thomas the, the North East boxing fans you probably seen me but the, the at the Newcastle shows and stuff like that, especially at the, I've been at loads of Lewis Ritson fights, two or three, I think it was. Uh, what, a, like the, the, the North East, the Geordie crowd are just something else, man. And, and now they do it different, they, don't they? They do it different, man. I, I used to, uh, listen, I'm, I'm from Edinburgh, so I'm only an hour and a half up the road. So we used to go down to Newcastle for a Saturday night, yeah. and a bus, yeah. and a bus back. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, the nightlife is amazing, the nightlife's fun because Aye. you're just, you're, you're just Oh, you're off again. What's happening? You're a busy man. Uh, <laughs> it, like the Jordies are just uh, Scots that couldn't fight back. <laughs> Mate, man, honestly, I've, I've obviously I've had me had me and used to go out on that all the time on nights out on that and just the things you're saying the people do in Newcastle are mad and then on night the night box that's what I mean as soon as I told people I was fighting from my area. Everyone was messaging us. I didn't even get tickets from people sorting out big coaches and they still see our coaches. I was like I'll hold your horses sort of thing, you know what I mean? But they all love it, man, class. It's that's good to have behind you, though. That's what you want, mate, and that, that's good because an off yeah. crowd, they're going, they believe in their, their own, they, they follow their own, and no matter where you go in your professional career, you know you've got that following behind you, and who knows, a big Vegas fight out there, maybe one day for you, like, you never know, you can bring on the mad Jordies to it, yeah. yeah. Do you know what yeah, 100%, 100% the word I. What a, what a feeling that would be. But finally, for, for yourself, you, I, I know you spawned Maxi Hughes tonight, but you're, you're fighting your debuts in August. Uh, you're, you're going to be in that fight zone arena, which is, which is, like I said to you, is great. But what can the fans watching on fight zone and the fans in the in the in the tennis, what can they expect from you on your professional debut? Um, hopefully, just to 
to make a good performance and just you be a safe from your like, from your amateur pe- pedigree and stuff like that. Like I hope he not, nothing's wasted. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna knock him out or like that, but I am looking for a good performance like, come 27th August. Just get that win. 100 mm-hmm. percent Yeah, listen, Thomas, I won't keep you much longer, but man, I do appreciate your time. Nice uh, speaking, Andrew. Thank you very much. Enjoy your professional debut. It only comes once. Uh, uh, listen, smash it and no doubt I'll speak to you soon. Can I quickly give a shout out to my sponsors, please, Andy? Of course you can, man, of course. Tech, uh, I just want to give a shout out to Texo, uh, HS Scaffolding, E-Clean, Sharpie from uh, Unique Fitness, Genflow Systems, Cozy at Home, and Waterville MOT, and Harrison Architectural, because without them, it couldn't be done. So thank you very much. Hey, what a number? That's quite a lot of sponsors you've got there, mate. Yeah? I've got one more too, Madame Tan as well, Madame Tan. There you go. See, I've, I've got... I had to write them down behind it. I've, I've seen you looking up like that. <laughs> <laughs> I because. The previous ones, like I was, my mom and that was saying, like, oh, you should call your sponsors out. I'm like, I well, kind of just start rattling them all off, you know. What I mean? There you go. Well, listen, enjoy yeah. it. And uh, let's nice uh, one. I'll probably, if you'll get there'll somebody from IFL TV will be there, so enjoy it. And uh, nice one, Andrew. Peace, have Thank a good day, right? Thank Thank you. Later, I mean, Thank bye. You.